Yo, what separates mature Christians from other believers? In this video, I'm gonna share with you three traits that I believe are great indicators that you're a mature Christian. That's coming up next. Yo, what's up? My name is Lev, and I want to talk to you about something that's really, really important, and I think what's important is this idea of being a mature Christian and what separates most mature Christians from other believers. I'm gonna talk about that here in this video. And I wanna give a disclaimer, listen, nobody's walking this earth is perfect. Nobody is like really living it out on that level. So we all have some work to do. So I just wanna get that disclaimer. This is not to make you feel bad nor make you feel like you're self-righteous. This is a good indicator on how you can test and see if you are a mature Christian. So let's jump into it. So mature Christians do not get caught up in petty arguments, right? Online is real easy to put out content that really starts petty arguments or really goes into the baiting of conversation or or really like trolling where we become self-righteous and judgmental, right? The Bible lets us know clearly that God says with loving kindness has he drawn us. Not with exposing you, not with putting your business out on front street, not with trying to poke holes in, in, in a two second clip, a three minute clip, and now all of a sudden that person's a false prophet. Now all of a sudden that person doesn't know God and they're leading people the wrong way. Listen, there are people who are intentionally leading people away from God. And there's some who doing the best that they can with what they have. They may not have all the information that you or I have or someone else have, and they're doing the best that they can with what they have. And they may not be living up to your expectation or the expectations of others, but mature Christians do not get caught up in petty arguments. Like they don't get caught up in going back and forth in the comment section to prove a point that doesn't lead to transformation. Again, God shows us, he draws people to him with love and kindness, not this anger and self-righteous and judgmental mentality or mindset. Yo, I don't know where y'all got that. I don't know who raised y'all. And number two, listen, mature Christians are not afraid to be vulnerable and admit when they're wrong. See, when you're wrong and you're able to be vulnerable and say, oh, I see the error. I see I was thinking wrong. I see where I made a mistake and, 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 and I put something out or I did something or I acted as if it was right, but it was actually wrong. Like mature Christians know how to admit their mistakes. Because if you're not able to admit your faults to one another or admit your faults to God, you really are struggling to keep this like perfection mentality going. Like you can just take off the mask, boo boo. Just take off the mask. Mature Christians take off the mask and say, hey, I'm struggling. I was wrong. I I, I messed up. And, and they want to get it right, whether that's get it right in relationships with their family or, or significant others or any type of relationship, or just simply say, hey, I was off. I said this and I really don't believe it no more. Like mature Christians allow themselves to be vulnerable enough to admit when they are wrong. And lastly, a sign that you are a mature Christian is that you're not easily offended. Like it is interesting to find Christians who are like offended and not like, I'm like, did you not read the scripture where the Lord lets us know that because we down with him, we're going to get some persecution because we, we, we try to do the right thing. Persecution is going to come. Offense is going to come. Like you're going to have things that rub you the wrong way. You're going to get things said to you, done to you. That's really going to come off as an attack. But mature Christians understand that being in the level of offense, living in offense, like you can be offended and, and, and let it like roll off your back but you can't live in a place of offense. You can experience it, but you can't live it. Because think about it. Jesus himself said, Father, forgive them. Why? For they know not what they do. They don't know that they hurt you. They don't know that that, that, that came off as an attack. They don't know how that pushed you some steps behind. But if you are a mature Christian, you understand this is part of the game, baby. You going to go through. You're going to be called names. You're going to be, you're going to get people mistreat you because you call on the name of the Lord, you're going to be persecuted in some way, shape, or form. It's a light affliction. You see what I'm saying? It's called a light affliction. So I want to encourage you, if you are living in offense, hey, wake up. It's okay. Don't live there. You can live in peace. You can live in joy, and you can live in harmony. You no longer have 
to live in a land of offense. So I just want to encourage you today, man, three key traits to let you know if you are living a mature Christian life or you got some areas to work on. There's more. Maybe you want to add it to down below in the comment section. Like, What are some other things that are key traits to mature Christians? So I want to hear from you down below. And also want to let you know you can watch this video right here. I think this is a super dope video for you that you can watch and keep you encouraged as you continue to live for the kingdom of God. We're not doing this for the culture. We're doing it for the kingdom. 